Hi, this is Anand and today we will see a simple episode click or planetary gear train. Uh, the model shown here is constructed in Creo parametric version 3.0. Now, a, s a planetary gear train or an epicyclic gear train has three possible motions and we'll see all three of those. Uh, deliberately the base of this gear train as well as the planet carrier is made translucent for easy of viewing. Uh, now the gear train that we are seeing has this is the sun the central portion is the sun these three smaller gears are called planet gears and this outer gear is called the ring gear this common part highlighted in green is the planet carrier so based on which part is locked and which parts are free to move there are three possible configurations or three possible gearing ratios that we can get from a simple epicyclic gear train now as shown here there are three pins a red pin yellow pin and green pin uh, the red pin locks the sun gear as you can see here yellow pin is for locking the planet carrier and the green pin is to lock the ring gear now right now all these three pins are engaged so there is no possible motion this assembly is completely locked you can see nothing is moving so what we'll do is we'll keep the sun locking pin we'll keep it engaged planet carrier locking pin and the ring locking pin these two pins will suppress okay so green and yellow pins are gone only the red pin is there which locks the sun gear now we'll see how this motion is visible okay so we'll drag the planet carrier okay and as you can see the planet gears as well as the ring gears are moving the sun gear is stationary so this was one clockwise rotation of the planet carrier and the ring gear rotated by one and a half tons in clockwise direction so same direction as the planet carrier I'll rotate it again so here we have two rotations of the planet carrier in clockwise direction F and three rotations of the ring gear again in clockwise direction we can move even the ring gear as you can see and if we move the ring gear the planet carrier moves fairly simple configuration where the sun gear is locked now we'll resume first we'll resume the planet carrier pin yellow one is on and next we'll resume the ring gear locking pin so all three are locked again now for this particular arrangement we have used uh, a sun gear with 16 tooth teeth planet gears each of the planet gears have eight teeth the ring gear has uh, 32 teeth so I have a excel file I've made this excel file and if you this can this gives the derivation of the gearing ratios and the motion so you can have a look at this and if you come down here in this file example one is what we have uh, the NS stands for number of teeth on the sun gear NP stands for number of teeth on each of the planet gears uh, NR stands for the number of teeth on the ring gear which is uh, derived from these two so as a user you should only enter these two values and the rest of the table will be generated automatically for example if I change this to 12 you can see all the ratios and this output table has completely changed let's get back to our case where we have 16 teeth on the sun gear 
so this is what's applicable to us so the configuration we just saw was the sun gear was stationary so this particular one so as you can see the sun gear was stationary so it's motion it has zero motion so for one rotation of carrier gear in clockwise direction we saw three rotations of the planet carrier planet gears oops okay sorry about that for one rotation of the planet carrier we saw three rotations of the planet gears and 1.5 rotations of the outer ring gear in the same direction because as you can see all three rotates the same direction so there is no change in sign let's get back to our model and now we will keep the planet carrier pin engaged and will suppress the sun locking pin and the ring locking pin will suppress these two so the ring as well as the sun are free to move planet carrier is locked so yellow pin is engaged red and green pins are suppressed let's see what happens now so we give motion to the sun gear and watch the hole on the sun gear it will show you the rotation so this was one complete rotation of the sun gear and in clockwise direction and this is the second rotation of the sun gear in clockwise direction so for every two rotations of the sun gear you are getting one rotation of ring gear in the opposite direction so we rotated the sun gear twice in clockwise direction A ring gear rotated in anti clockwise direction once let's try again with the ring gear now as you can see here we go the ring gear has completed half rotation in clockwise direction the sun gear has rotated by two times in anti clockwise direction sorry one time in anti clockwise direction now it is two times in anti clockwise for every one rotation of the ring gear the sun gear has rotated two times in opposite direction bring it back to original position now this is important if you are using this model from grab cad and if you are trying this at home make sure that you resume the sun locking pin first and then you resume the ring locking pin otherwise you will get into some interference issues where these parts will interfere the gear tooth will interfere with each other so i don't know why that's happening but it's one of the peculiarity of this model okay so we'll see what hap our excel file says so the configuration we right now saw was the planet carrier was stationary and we gave one rotation of the sun gear gave us half a rotation of ring gear in negative direction that's opposite to the sun gear so it shows us minus 0.5 the same time the planets rotated in anti clockwise direction or counter clockwise direction for two times so that's negative 2 if you multiply each of these by 2 you can see that if the sun gear were to rotate twice in clockwise direction the ring gear would have rotated once in anti clockwise direction so let's come back to a model and now we'll see the third and final configuration where we keep our ring gear pin engaged ring locking pin engaged will suppress the sun as well as planet locking pins okay so red and yellow pins are suppressed green pin is locking our ring gear that's engaged let's see what happens now we drag the sun gear okay so that's half a rotation and this is 
one complete rotation of the sun gear and for this one complete rotation the planet carrier has rotated by one third turn in the same direction that is anti-clockwise direction here we have the second clockwise turn of sun gear and the third clockwise turn of the sun gear the planet carrier has rotated once for every three turns of the sun gear and both have rotated in the same direction can can rotate the planet carrier too S want let's rotate it anti clockwise so here you go f 2 and so for three anti clockwise rotations of the planet carrier i'm sorry three uh, clockwise rotations of the sun gear were obtained for one anti clockwise rotation of the planet carrier I brought it back to original position this is important if you are using this model from GrabCAD again uh, when it's time to engage the spins make sure you bring the model back to its original position which is this yellow pin is up and this hole on the sun gear is also up and engage these spins one by one in the same sequence so sun planet ring first if the sun is suppressed I engage that see the gear moved and then if the planet carrier is suppressed engage that so we don't see any interference here so the model the configuration that we just saw let's see if, if our excel file confirms the same now the ring was stationary sun gear we rotated by one turn carrier rotated by 0.3333 so that's one third turn in the same direction while planet care rotated by minus one so that's anti-clockwise or counterclockwise rotation so again if sun were to rotate by three turns carrier would be rotating by one turn in the same direction so our uh, calculations hold true for this case I have uploaded this model in GrabCAD. You can search for it there. So just try searching for planetary gear or epicyclic gear train, and uh, you can download and play with this and figure out different things. This is just for fun, so it's not for construction. So that's why uh, it might not be very accurate. There are no um, pinholes or wedges to on the shaft of the gear it's just using assembly it is assembled i ho hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you and uh, play with creo and please feel free to submit your comments in the comment section thanks bye